Hello and welcome to 30 Days to Learn Photoshop. This is day 29, problem solving. My name's Ben Gribbin and in today's lesson we're going to try and preempt any errors and alerts you might run into in your day-to-day -day use of Photoshop and we'll look at how you can solve them. So let's go ahead and switch over to Photoshop and try and make it make errors. So here's another problem you might run into. You've got an empty layer, you've selected an area and you go to transform it. Oh, you've produced another error. Could not transform the selected pixels because the selected area is empty. So there's nothing that can be selected there. That's your problem there. That's probably just because you've clicked on the wrong layer if you are trying to transform something. The Photoshop cursor bug. Now, can't really duplicate this, but sometimes the cursor will just remain on a certain tool or it won't work for whatever reason. And in order to sort that out, you'd probably best just saving your file and rebooting Photoshop. Now, here's another problem that you could easily run into. If you go onto view and you've set some guides up or some smart guides like so, and you are painting along and then all of a sudden instead of being able to do a smooth line you get a bump in it because it's snapping to the layer you need to make sure that you've got snap to guides turned off so that your tool now you can just completely freeform and it totally ignores that guide it's just a reference point for yourself here's a problem you might run into when you're working on gif files you can't actually delete or remove this layer, um, which is a problem. So you can't create layers. You get all the layer panels blocked out. It won't let you do anything. You're probably best off copying the image. So going Command A, copying it, copy merged, whichever one you want to do, and then go to File New and create an ent entirely new file. It will save all the settings from this file. So the size, the height, everything's correct. And you can literally just paste it in and then you've got full control over your GIF. Another error that we can't really produce is sometimes the type tool. Just it's got some sort of bug in it very rarely, but it will do occasionally um, produce an alert that says, unfortunately, the type tool is unable to work due to some random program error. Usually it'll work again if you just click on the type tool. So don't worry too much about that if that ever happens. If it keeps continuing in continuing just close photoshop and reboot it so th these problems are not things that are going to happen all the time but they're just something that we wanted to point out to you if it gets stuck on the hand tool and you're unable to change if the hand tool carries on over here and you can't change to a different tool try pressing some of the keyboard shortcuts for another tool or you could press the space bar and this sort of just resets so then you could just go to the space bar, get your hand tool and it should hopefully toggle it, toggle out of that error. Open GL warnings, depending on the graphics card that you've got, you could get some errors when you open up, I think it's more than four files and you have certain open GL formats. So you want to make sure that in the GL settings, you've got the right settings for the level of computer that you have open up performance settings set the enable open gl drawing to either on or off and it does have a number of features that are enabled when you have it on so you have things like the rotate view tool bird's eye zoom in pixel grid flick panning scrubby zoom which we showed you just things like that that are part of the open gl platform so if you turn it off you aren't going to be able to use those. However, sometimes you do have to turn it off. So that's just an unfortunate thing that you may well have to do. OpenGL needs at least 256 megabytes of RAM on your graphics card. So that could be where you run into problems. Sometimes when you're cloning and you are going along, you get this error. Could not use a clone stamp because the area to clone has not been defined. So you just need to option click or alt click and define the source you want to copy. So your last option for completely swiping Photoshop to its factory settings is not surprisingly not to uninstall it, but actually it's got a settings file which is generated when you create a new installation of it. So for PC users, 
all you need to do is press Control, Shift and Alt whilst opening up Photoshop. So press those down, then open up Photoshop. That should delete your settings file. For Mac users, all you need to do is hold down Shift, Command and Option. And whilst holding those down, open up Photoshop. And that will swipe your settings file and hopefully solve any problems that you have. So that's kind of your final option. Uh, and if that doesn't work, totally delete Photoshop, uninstall it, and do a complete fresh install. So what have we learned in today's lesson? Well, we've looked at the causes of common alerts and errors in Photoshop. And our task for the lesson is to remember these tips when we're using Photoshop to be able to avoid any problems we could run into. Next time on 30 Days to Learn Photoshop, we'll be looking at shortcuts and performance. Thanks for listening.